How to use Microsoft Copilot. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be taking a quick look at Microsoft Copilot. So we all have heard about Microsoft 365 and how we can use that to optimize our work. But did you know that you can actually elevate your writing as well as your knowledge with Microsoft Copilot? Now, Copilot is the name of the AI that Microsoft has created. And you can just head on over to copilot.microsoft.com and then click on sign in over here. Once you do that, you can sign in to your Microsoft account. So I'm just going to do that like so, and then click on next over here. Once you click on next, you can go on ahead and type in your password and then click on sign in. And we're just going to log on to our account to be led to Copilot. Now, this is what the Copilot interface is going to look like. On the right, you have your chats as well as plugins that you can add. Then on the top right, you also have these three lines where if you click them, you open up your settings. You also have appearance. So if you want to go into the dark mode or a system default. So if your system or your PC is in light mode, Copilot would be opened up in light mode. And if it's in dark mode, it would be opened in dark mode. Now, after that, you have your profile icon and on the left, you have a simple notebook where you can write, you know, different prompts and you can, you know, provide it with topics that you can write about. You can also add images as well as turn on your microphone to just give it a voice direction. Now, on the Copilot app, you will see on the bottom, you have the option to ask it a new topic. And let's say that I want to create a portrait of a dog in a bold, impressionistic painted style. And just like that, it will start creating the image. And on the right, you will see a chat will be built up. And you guys can see we're waiting for the image generation to be completed. And just like that, our image generation is completed. One thing to note is that on the daily, you get five image generations with Microsoft Copilot. Now, where does Microsoft Copilot derive its information from? So let's say I have a specific color. So let's say I want to ask it about, um, tell me about mental first aid, like so. And then after that, it will start generating its response. Now, Copilot has multiple sources where it derives its information from. These are going to be not limited to just what the AI model already knows. Instead, Copilot is actually linked with the internet. So Copilot will take its own knowledge base, take information from there. Then it's going to take a look at online information that is available. And once it has completed that, then it is going to provide you with a response. Whenever you ask something of Copilot, you will see that it provides you with specific links as well. So if, if it has coded something word for word, then you also have your citations that are included as well as a section where you can view all of your references. Now, if you ask it to write the same thing with specific formatting, so tell me about mental first aid and write in text citations and references at the end. Now, what this will do is that this will allow us to create a very specific format. So you guys can see now it is giving specific citations into every line and then it's giving references at the end of the uh, write-up. And you can ask it to expand upon the writing and whenever you have a response, you can choose to like, dislike, copy, export, and share. And another thing you can do is you can also do a read aloud. So if you're not looking to read everything that Copilot writes for you, simply click on the speaker icon to actually allow reading of the text that is generated. Now with image searches, you can click on upload from this device. And once you do that, you can add your image. So let's say I have this image and I want to make this more colorful. Add a floral background but keep everything monochrome. So now I've provided the AI with some really specific instructions on 
how I want this particular illustration to be edited, you can do that and, you know, allow yourself to, you know, play around with existing art. You will see that this is powered by Dolly and Designer. The Microsoft Copilot, you know, animation AI is powered by them. So if you were to search this on Dolly or if you were to search this on Designer, you would get similar results. So it has created the same thing. It took the same prompt over and over again. So I think I would have to alter the prompt first. You guys can see this is what it's doing. It's taking the same prompt, but you know, we can customize that. And you can also use your microphone to add instructions. So to do that, just click on the use microphone icon on the bottom right. Once you do that, click on allow on the top left. And once you click on allow, you will see that whatever you say will be typed out. So you guys can see this is how you can get started with the Microsoft Copilot AI. Now to make this even easier, you can manage your chats as well as delete any chat from the right. This allows you to gather or combine specific searches related to one thing into one place. So if I am searching for, let's say, my thesis or my research, I can keep that in one chat. Whereas if I'm looking for data for my business, I can keep that in another chat to make it easier for me to access. Now, another great thing is that the Microsoft Copilot application is available on mobile devices, both Android and iOS. So you can download that as well to make your task management easier. Now on the right, you will see you also have plugins and in plugins, you have a simple search that is enabled. You also have the option to enable things like Instacart, where it allows you to, you know, link recipes and you can build recipes off of, you know, their daily menus. Then you also have Kayak, Klarna, OpenTable, Phone, Shop, as well as Suno integrations that are natively available. These plugins allow you to power up your connection to other elements as well as use AI to further boost your leads and growth. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with creating your own website or project and using Copilot's AI to help you out. If you did, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.